Okay. Got my uh, my 50 amp plug. Receptacles all wired up, ready to go. I got to shove that end into that hole and secure it, and then route it up to to my electric panel. So actually, it goes to the uh, a surge suppressor first, and then from there to the uh, thing. So let me hook that up, and I'll be right back. The next thing to be installed is the. Progressive Industries EMS HWF50 Charlie. And this is a hardwired with surge protection. And what this is, is this protects the, the coach. When you plug your power into here from short power, any surges or spikes or whatever, this device will kick in and protect the RV. So the very first thing is this wire gets connected to this unit and then from that unit it goes into the automatic transfer switch and then from the automatic transfer switch into into the service panel and that is the chart right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide now where where I'm going to mount this in relation to the automatic transfer switch so that it's kind of a continuous thing so let me figure that out get this mounted and get my ATS switch the automatic transfer switch which is the main transfer switch get those installed on the wall and I'll be back all right this is the inside of the uh, surge protector your uh, your wires come in this uh, side here and then they land right there l1 l2 and l3 l1 is black l2 is white neutral and red is your hot and uh, you put your ground right there and uh, then on the other side you've got T1 T2 and T3 that's your black output your white output your red output and your ground And both grounds get hooked together right there. So, very good. All right, let me wire this up and I'll be back. Okay, so my wire's coming in here. It's gonna run up back behind my water filter. Come through there. Come through there. <laughs> And then it's going to come up through there and run up the wall. I went ahead and drilled my <clears throat> my second hole. This one's my shore power, and this one's going to be for my generator. So I went ahead and drilled that now, so get it out of the way. All right, I'll be back. I'll run this wire. All right, I've got my wire coming in. It's secured where I want it it's coming around comes in comes through there and like I said earlier I went ahead and drilled my other one for the uh, for the generator and now I'm getting ready to install this into my surge protector that's the first step and then uh, it'll come out the top there and go into the automatic transfer switch uh, let me do that and I'll be back all right, I've got my wires stripped. I've got my ground connector crimped on. I've got my black, black, white, and red. So black is L1, white is L2, and red is L3. All right, let me hook those up and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my 
shore power or input um, connected. And now, this is my surge protector. And now or tomorrow, whatever, I'm going to uh, connect uh, the outgoing or the load side of the uh, surge protector. And then that will go into the uh, transfer switch. So let me get that straightened out, started, and I'll be back. Okay. The uh, surge suppressor is installed. It's completely wired up. Uh, I've got my wire coming out the top. I just got it hanging there temporarily. Um, until I hook up my uh, ATS switch, which will go right above it. And... Uh, I'll be back. Let me put the cover on here. The uh, cover goes on, gets screwed on. And uh, it has a, uh, a monitor thing here that gets, uh, gets installed. Maybe over here or down here. It gives you your codes and stuff like that. No big deal. I'll uh, hook that up later on. <clears throat> so, all right, I'll be back. Okay, my uh, surge suppressor is completely installed, wired in. Um, I mean, this goes without saying. Obviously, you don't work on this shit while there's, you know, while you got live power, um, but. Uh, I've got to go get some, uh, I've got to go get some, uh, uh, of these, they are, uh, whatever they call those things for the uh, things, I'm going to run and get those before Lowe's closes tonight. So that's that. Um, kind of running out of daylight. I gotta clean up all my shit. So let me do that and then I'll come back and uh, show you the progress. I, don't know, I did those earlier. That's my, my 300 amp fuse, which there's my inverter over there. And I've got my shunt installed. Um, anyway, <clears throat> somebody had asked me if I was going to get another one of these for the for the generator. And uh, at first I wasn't going to do it, but I am going to do it. And that's why I, I decided to do this, bring my... Uh, my other, my generator cord will come in and then I'll just put another one of these right next to it. It'd be kind of nice if I could wire them both, but you can't, so. Uh, well, I, I say you can't, but maybe you could, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to get another one of those, so. All right, let me clean my mess up and I'll be back.